Good day, Grade 12s. My name is Karin Mazzucchere, and um, I'd like to welcome you to this video. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks, and they come in complete and no answers version. Uh, and that's Grade 10 to 12, and it's economics, it's business studies. So in this particular video, what I'm going to explain is the markets under secular flow. Now, this one is a possible essay type question, and if it comes, it would probably say, Discuss in detail, um, let me see, discuss in detail um, markets within a four-sector model. Now, you obviously cannot confuse it with discuss in detail uh, the four types of market structures. That one would say compare and contrast the four types of market structures. That one says market structures. This one says discuss in detail markets within a four sector model so which one is that four sector model is the secular flow model is the model with households businesses government and the four sectors of production households businesses government and the foreign sector so if that's the case then where can the confusion come the word market the word four the number four okay discuss in detail markets markets within a four sector model discuss in detail or compare and contrast the four broad type the four types of market structures so that's where a confusion can come so with regards to this one let me not waste time uh what you'd have to explain is number one the product market so what is a product market it is a market where goods and services are traded and in the product market you have to first discuss consumer goods because it's a market where goods and services are traded so we need to know number one your first subheading after writing product market would be consumer goods so what are consumer goods these are goods that are purchased by consumers as uh for them to consume for example you would buy bread right now when you buy bread you are buying it for consumption so we say these are consumer goods goods purchased by consumers for consumption it's weird then number two you would have to explain capital goods now unlike consumer goods which are purchased for their own sake capital goods are purchased for the sake of other goods like we use capital goods to make other goods so i said a consumer good can be something like bread a capital good can be something like an oven that is used to bake the bread. So what consumers need will be made by making use of capital goods. These goods are anything you can think of, tools, equipment, machinery, you know, all those things. When you buy something for the sake of making something else, that thing is a consumer good. So a printer behind me you you cannot see it in this video yes there's a printer right behind me that printer is made to make this this is a consumer good right and but but to make the book we need a printer which is a, a capital good okay after capital goods we need to explain now that yes those consumer and capital goods no they can't be a capital good that can be can can they whatever let me not let me not say that because maybe someone can think and say no but this one is durable now what i want non-durable okay what i wanted to say is now after explaining consumer and capital goods you have to explain durable goods non-durable goods and semi-durable goods durable goods are goods that can be used over and over for a long period of time uh capital and non-durable goods are goods that can only be used once uh, food is a good example. You eat something once it's gone. Then we have semi-durable goods. These are goods that can be used more than once, but not for, for a very, very long time. This is an example of a, a, a semi-durable good. I can use this pen today. I can use it tomorrow. I can use it tomorrow. I can keep using it, but I won't use this pen on a daily basis for five years if I'm using it on a daily basis. But I can use my car on a daily basis for 15 years. So we say that car is a durable good. Then once you're done, you are done with the product market. Then you move on to the factor market. Now, a factor market is a market where uh, 
factors of production are traded and you explain your land your labor your capital and your entrepreneurship i won't go in depth you know this one then you go on to explain the financial market now a financial market is a market that consists of banks insurance funds uh, insurance companies pension funds and the jse that's what the financial market is after the financial market you have to explain the money market and the money market is an institute is is where institutions and um you know banks trade financial securities in the short term that's a money market then uh, after the money market we have the capital market where institutions trade financial securities in the long term so lending and borrowing is done in the long term in a capital market lending and borrowing is done in the short term in a money market then last but not least you have to explain the foreign exchange market which is a market where uh, one currency can be traded for another or it's a market where uh, forex is traded you can put it that way i explained before that uh, a, a foreign exchange market can be con the term foreign exchange can be confused for foreign exchange market i was explaining foreign exchange market i said foreign exchange market is a place where one currency can be traded for another foreign exchange is the act of exchanging one currency for another you can also confuse that with exchange rate It's the rate at which one currency can be traded for another so don't confuse those three phrases they sound the same but they are not really the same okay thank you so much god bless